We've got a stuffler, and today we're gonna show you how to make the perfect stuffed waffle using a carnivore batter. And we're gonna bring it to you sweet and savory. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we bring you a new recipe, you'll be alerted to it. So we got a stuffler. And we love it. And I do wanna say, we've talked about this before, we were inspired to buy one from Steve at Serious Keto, and we've been messing with this thing for a while. We, uh, we've made stuffed like breakfast sandwiches with biscuits and gravy, I'll put a link for that vlog up here. And then recently, we made a carnivore mug bread. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave a link for that one up here as well as down below. And it started getting us thinking that, well, we've been making chaffle recipes in the stuffler. Right. But can we thin out the batter to really perfect it? And I think we've got it. And I am so excited to share it with you because I think you're gonna find it delicious. Okay, so this one may be a little bit long because we're gonna show you how to make the batter and then we're gonna give you two versions. Two and two. We're gonna do a sweet one, making strawberry and cream cheese stuffed waffles. Mm. And then we're also gonna give you a savory one, which is gonna be like a pizza burger stuffed Ooh, waffle. And it is really good too. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna put this off to the side and get it heating up because that's the first thing you're gonna to need to do. Now, I will leave a link for the stuffler down below. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there. I can only speak to the Presto version. I don't know how the other ones work or if these batters will work in the other ones. I just know it's gonna work in the Presto version. Let's get into the ingredients we're gonna need for the actual waffle batter. Uh, very, very simple ingredients. Like I said, it is gonna be carnivore. We're gonna need four eggs. We're gonna need some pork rind crumbs. We like to use pork and good. Uh, there's a discount link down below. You can use other ones, but I really like pork and good. I like the quality of their product. Me too. You definitely, for the sweet one, want to use the unflavored pork rind. Right. You don't wanna make like ranch flavored sweet strawberry and cream cheese. Or like stupid no, hot. That's not gonna work. We're gonna need some butter. We're going to need some baking powder. And then finally, we're gonna need some cream cheese. So basic ingredients. Let's put all that stuff to the side. We're gonna get into the waffle batter. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. In a bowl, we're going to add four ounces of softened cream cheese. You definitely want it to be soft so that you can get a really good mixture. Then we're gonna add four eggs. This step is optional, but I think it really brings a really good buttery flavor, and that is one to two tablespoons of melted butter. I just love the smell. And then we're gonna put one teaspoon of baking powder, and finally, a half a cup of ground up pork rinds. And again, we're gonna use unflavored. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand mixer okay. and you are going to blend this until it's nice and smooth. Okay, I think that's good. Nice. Now I do wanna say, when I say nice and smooth, as smooth as you can get it, you're obviously not gonna be able to get the pork rind crumbs smooth. What you're trying to do is eliminate chunks of cream cheese. Okay. That's why you want it to be softened. Nice. Okay? So that that is our batter. Now this batter, I'm gonna leave a link for the recipe down below, will give you two to three stuffed waffles depending on how much batter you actually put into your stuffler. Okay. okay? Um, basically what I've been doing is two of them and then I have enough batter left over to make like two mini waffles and we kind of have it with breakfast like or something like that. Like put it with a dash. Okay, so we got to turn this the right way. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. Now, what I like about the stuffler is it's got this little piece here, which is like a grabber. You have to make sure it's completely tight and then it's in the ring down below. If it's not seated in there right, uh, it's not gonna cook the sides well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour just enough batter before you pour it, let me show you. You wanna get it like right up to the this line. You don't even have to cover the middle oh. though, but you wanna cover all of the grates and you wanna get it like right up to or even with that line. That's probably good enough. Okay, and then you can use a little spatula and just kind of, you know, like move it around. And this is why I say you're gonna get two to three because that's probably even a little bit too much. Uh-oh. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the savory version because we add something to the sweet version of the waffle batter. We'll start with dinner and then dessert. So we're gonna do a burger stuffler. Nice. Okay? So what we've got is some pre-cooked ground beef. Uh, when you're adding meat and eggs and stuff like that, you have to use cooked. You can't put raw chicken in here. Okay. You can't put raw beef because it's not gonna cook it. So you gotta do this quickly because you can see that's already cooking. And you're just gonna kind of sprinkle it around. You can't put too much. Okay. You're just gonna sprinkle it around a little bit in there. Is that a good that, enough? That's probably good. Okay. Then what we're gonna do, I would use like hunks of cheese, but unfortunately I forgot to take that out of the freezer, so I'm grabbing Anthony's mozzarella cheese. But the squares work the best. The squares will work the best. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda spread a little bit of cheese in there too. Spread the love. And then we're gonna take some tomato sauce and just put a little bit of tomato sauce. And again, just remember that we are, we've gotta put more batter on top. Okay. You could probably put a couple more drops on the side so that it all spreads around. All right. And now what we're gonna do is, again, I think we added a little bit too much, but we're not redoing this video. No. So now I'll help you here. Thank you. We will put some more batter across the top. Now it will drop down a little bit. The whole idea is just get it to cover cover as much as you can and it's gonna rise in there a little bit. That's because there's baking powder in there. Nice. Okay, now what you do is you close this. Okay. So go ahead and close it. Hold it tight and flip. Ooh, this is the scary part. And now we're gonna let this sit and cook for what I'm finding is 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and check it. So Alexa, Set a timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, starting now. Let's do this. While this is cooking, let's push that off to the side and prepare our sweet batter. Nice. Now, you don't have to do anything. This batter no. will work just fine for sweet. Yeah. But I want sweet. Right. So we're gonna add a couple things to it. Now this is completely optional. We're gonna add a tablespoon of the Perfect Keto, because we're doing strawberries and cream cheese, strawberry collagen. Now, again, you don't have to use this. You could use keto chow, you could use whatever you want, but right. I find the collagen works really well. It doesn't thicken it up as much as keto chow, and I don't want a thick batter. Right. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a couple more drops of sweetener. So I'll put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of liquid sucralose. You can also use liquid stevia, or you don't have to add any at all. I would not use a powdered or granular though, because it's gonna thicken up the batter. And go ahead and give that a mix. And then from there, you can just, hey, it's just us. Give it a little taste. See, see is it sweet enough? Do you need more strawberry in there? No, that is awesome. Yeah, I find that the one tablespoon is perfect. And then again, just a few drops of sucralose. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna put this off to the side. You know what that reminds me of? What was that cereal? The strawberry Frankenberry? Yes, it's Isn't like Frankenberry. It like? Yes, it does. We're gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna wait for the other one. And then we will try that one while this one is cooking. Oh, Rachel's happy now. It's ready. Alexa, stop. Okay, here we go. We're gonna flip it back over, though you don't really have to. We're gonna open it up. Ooh, that looks like a pizza burger should. Okay, here we go. Sometimes 
I can't grab it that well because we put a lot of toppings in right. it. So we're just gonna kind of move it over because yeah, Ooh, that's hot. Okay, let's do this. Let's let that cool for a quick second and we're gonna go ahead and make the sweet version. So we're gonna go ahead here and again, put your batter in there. Make sure you get everything covered up. Probably a little bit too much batter, but that's good. <laughs> I just can't get the right amount. And that's that's the tricky part. It's taking me a long time. You basically want to come right up to the top of those ridges. Okay. See how you're over it? All right. If you put the right amount, like right up to that ridge, then you can get three of the stuffed waffles out of that batter. Oh, the nice. way we're sitting right now, you're probably going to have two and a half. So it's take the extra batter, either go make some more batter or take it and go put it into a chaffle maker. I can always put it in like a little dash. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I've got some cream cheese and I break it up into like these little, I don't know, balls. balls. I was trying to avoid that, but go ahead and sprinkle that all the way around it. You want to use all of them? Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and use all of them. How much do I have? Probably about an ounce, maybe a little bit more. I just kind of eyeball it. It's how much cream cheese do you wanna have in your chaffle? Lots. Okay, then we have some sliced strawberries. And this is basically one strawberry. You probably don't need the whole thing, but I just wanna cover everything with the strawberry. Now, one thing I have found with this, if you have something solid, like I, even before we could have done the, I would do the cheese usually first in the sauce, then put the meat on top or like you hear you had your cheese and now you have your strawberries because that'll allow you to put the batter on and if you need to spread it around a little bit, you can. I saw that. Now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and put the batter. You're not even saving me one. Sorry. And cover everything up here. And again, it is gonna raise. Yeah, we probably put a little bit too much in, but that's Sorry. okay. It still works. Again, here and go ahead and do your flip. Flip. Okay, so we'll put that off to the side. Alexa, set a timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, starting now. And here we go. Are you ready? The moment of truth. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I loved pizza burgers growing oh, up. Oh yeah. Did you like and pizza burgers? You could actually do this. You don't even have to have crumbled ground beef. We just always have crumbled ground beef. It's a great meal prep. If you have hamburgers, like, you know, meat cookies already made, you could put the whole meat cookie in there. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. Look at that. That looks so yummy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. The cheese is melting out. You got your tomato sauce in there. Very nice. Are you ready? Let's dink it. Dink. Dink. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> wow. It is a full cheeseburger with pizza sauce, mm, like just that. a beautiful, gooey deliciousness. And the batter cooks all the way through. And here's the thing, this is non-keto kid approved mm -hmm. because both of the boys liked it. They were both absolutely stunned that this is pork rinds, mm -hmm. right? Because they're like this, I mean, you do not taste like a pork rind flavor to it. It's just delicious, buttery, bread-like yeah. taste. Mm. Let's do this. We're going to finish this. And then we're gonna let that other one finish cooking and then we'll come back and show you that one. Do you smell the strawberries cooking? I can smell what the stopper is cooking. Rachel has been here every like 30 seconds asking Alexa is it done? how much time is left on my timer. Is it done? She's like dancing. I want my strawberry cream cheese waffle. Well, I mean, this is the dessert one, so right. of course. Hercules, Hercules. Alexa, stop, are you ready? Oh, am I ready? Here we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let me have that. And Again. don't burn yourself. We loaded it up. It's like, nope, <laughs> I'm not cooperating. There we go. Let's put that off to the side and unplug it. Because it is ha ha hot. So here's, you know what, let's do this. Let's let this cool here. First of all, let's show it to you. Is that gorgeous? Look at that. And the sides, what, what blows me away is that it stays contained. Yeah, it's it, really good. It, I love this The thing. walls work. Okay, let's let this cool and go over the macros because you were asking me what the macros are because I've been making these and 
This is the one thing Rachel's never questioned me. She's always like, how much fat is in that? How much protein? Am I eating too many carbs? Not when it comes to these. She's I'm just like, like, go make me a stuffler. Yeah, don't don't even tell me, usually. Okay, let's talk about the batter first because the overall stuffed waffle is gonna be completely dependent on what you put in it. Right. Okay? So the batter, and this is utilizing the ingredients that we use today, which is four eggs, Philadelphia cream cheese, which I find has the cleanest macros. It's not the carb thing, it's what's in it too. It's got one of the cleanest ingredients. You can also use, by the way, Kite Hill, but then it wouldn't be carnivore anymore. Right. Okay, um, but using that and using the porking good pork rind crumbs. And again, there's a link down below and if you use the code 2CrazyKitas, you're gonna get a discount on that. So again, the recipe will give you three stuffed waffles if you use the right amount. But That's it, the key. But it will at least definitely, even if, it's, even if it's Rachel, you're gonna get two and then you're gonna have some overages and that's what you can use with your- Make regular waffles. Yeah, or use put it back into the ramekin and put it in the microwave for the 90 second yeah. you know, bread. Okay, so the batter for one full stuffler, mm -hmm. okay, is 325 calories. 27 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein. Nice. And ready, because we're not using almond flour, 1.8 total carbohydrate. I think that is going to be the key. Using this recipe is going to be the key for staying on target because almond flour adds a lot of total carbs. And people have nut allergies. And, yeah. and again, here you can, depending on, again, what you put inside of it and you don't consider baking powder like not carnivore, which yeah. to me, listen, it's baking powder, it's carnivore. Uh, if so long as you're okay with that, you can have complete carnivore things. If you're in carnivore, keep adding cheese and meat to it, and there you go. Delicious. Um, and we're gonna have a lot of recipes coming out with this. We've got a whole list of ones that we've been working on, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell notification so that you can get all of these and. You know, again, we'll leave a link for the stuffler down below. So I don't know the meat one because I didn't measure out what we put in it, but I can tell you this one. And this is the one that matters because this is the, the one dessert. that you're going to want to eat the whole thing. So if you eat this entire thing, it's 431 calories, which okay. is honestly not bad. And again, we're not so much into the calories. 37 grams of fat, 19 grams of protein, and 3.7 total carbs. I feel like this is a lot, a huge serving for that amount of total carbs. And the fact that you're having a dessert and getting protein in is kind of awesome. Are you ready? Am let's, I ready? Let's go ahead. What do you think? I almost wish we had another camera angle. Ugh. Very nice. Look at that. And this is such a great use for strawberries. This is one oh, strawberry. Yeah. One single strawberry. So look at that. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Wanna dink it? Dink. Dink. It's gonna be hot. Mm. So good. So good. Just the right amount of sweetness. You're definitely aware that you're having a very nice treat, but you don't have to ha feel guilty about it. You're not trying to undermine yourself. One strawberry, a little bit of cream cheese, and a carnivore batter. Okay, I want you to take another bite. Mm -hmm. And while you're eating this, I want you to thank the toaster strudels. Yes, yeah. It is. Do you it's remember like, those toaster strudels oh my that we gosh, used to buy yes. the kids? Mm -hmm. Is that not what that tastes like? Not a pop tart. The toaster strudels that you would put into your oven. Because there's a thickness oven. to it. The only thing is, and the is, flavor. The, the, I'm talking about the strawberry cream cheese flavor. The flavor is there, but I'm gonna tell you what. This is the consistency I wanted out of that puff pastry, but never actually got mm -hmm. right. So there's just such a nice thick batter around this. Well, mm. we need to end this video because. To eat the rest of it. This is mine. Uh, you ate my bacon this That morning. is true. So uh, let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Let us know what other ones should we come up with. What other ingredients should we put inside. 
Do you want a non-carnivore version batter? Because we can give you one of those as well. But you need to let us know down in the comment section. Yeah. Again, make sure uh, you hit the bell button because we have a lot of Stuffler recipes coming out. They come Over the next few weeks. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we make something delicious, you'll be learning to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.